Hi, I'm Carl and I'm Ranger Commander. This is Outpost Discovery. The purpose of this channel is mainly to teach kids how to camp and do it safely. But along the way sometimes we run into um, equipment that helps us do what we're doing to camp. Well, I don't get around as as good as I used to, so uh, I found a piece of equipment that will help me a lot, and it's called a Rokon. But the one I have, it's a basket case, so it needs some love. So we're going to work on that basket case and bring it back into shape. So uh, stick with me, and let's get to it. Thanks! Well, this is what I lovingly call the basket case. I have been blessed with being able to find a new engine for it, but before I do that, I want to give it a little bit of TLC, like uh, changing the oil and the gearboxes, and maybe fixing some of the paint spots on it and see if there's anything else that needs to be repaired and lubed. Um, the list also includes replacing those handlebars. So, if you'll bear with me, I'm going to get started. First of all, I need to take care of this uh, foot peg that doesn't want to move. It appears to be frozen. I'm going to tilt this up and put some of this stuff, aerocroil, good stuff. And let that soak in there. if I had help, but I don't. So. There we go. I told you that stuff rocked. Okay, maybe I didn't say it rocked, but it's a good stuff. But it does rock. Okay. Hey, see, look at that. Okay, well, before we get too far, the bike was already in a tore-down state, except for the wheels. Uh, we took those off so that we could get them in my car. Yeah, I picked this up with a uh, um, an SUV. Fit in the back, fine. Just took the wheels off. We slid it right on in. Anyway, um, so the brake was already disassembled. The brakes apparently had sat around so long they were frozen. And uh, so they took the brakes off. They took the, the front uh, wire tray off. So, well, with that stuff already done, that saves me a little bit of time. I can't show you taking them off, but there is another fellow who's doing it. I just want to try to do this with close-ups. So, uh, all right, let's get to the next part. All right, first, let's take this headlight off. It's a half inch. Now, the mainly, re the main, mainly. The main reason I'm doing this is so I can see what I'm doing. So I just want to kind of get it out of the way a little bit, which theoretically is a good idea, but doesn't seem to be. See, these are the things that you need to see. People having problems with this, so you know what you're going to run into. All right. Let's see. What we have to deal with up top. Okay, so now you see this bolt here. There's one on the other side, and we'll have to take those off to get the miter box out. Then I'll have to turn it straight and pull it out because it's it's inserted into this. Okay, well you can't see it very well, but that other one is kind of in an awkward place. I don't have a deep well socket, so I have to try to make do. Alright, so let's look in there. You see way in there? There that little booger is, hiding. Right there. I know, it's hard to see. But that's it. That's what I'm trying to get to.
Okay, so there they are. Those are the bolts that came out. Now remember, on the far side, you have a ground wire. If you can see that. For your light. Okay? So, here it is. And out she comes. And boy, I hope I can get this back together. There it is. Hello. Okay, baby. All right. There it is. Now, I see that's the reason you have to take it out is your drain plug and fill plug is here on top unless you want to turn the bike over. I really don't want to do that. Now I'm going to squirt this with a little bit of that uh, penetrating oil and let it sit for a couple minutes before I try to take it out. Now, something that I like to do is put the, the bolts back in where they came out of so I don't lose them. Just, your, just my suggestion rather than stick them in something and then wonder where they are. Okay, here it is cleaned up a little bit, so uh, now I'm going to have to drain it. This is a 3 16 Allen. Okay. So let's see if uh, the penetrating oil had enough time to do its thing. I want to put a little bit uh, more on that. Now, I need to find something pour all that stuff in. Okay, so I found something to pour that stuff into. And also, this is what I'm using, 8090. And I would rather use uh, a good brand rather than the cheap stuff, because sometimes there are additives that are not in the cheap stuff, like the store brand, okay? And that is probably going to have to just sit there now for a while and drain. Okay, well, now it's been drained, so it's it's empty, as empty as I'm going to get it. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that is some nasty looking stuff. I bet that's never been done. So it's good to, that I went ahead and stopped to do this. So, now, Let's uh, put some in. Oh, and by the way, I am not proclaiming that I am a ROCOM expert. All I'm doing is showing you what I'm going through so that when you go through it, you'll kind of have an idea what to expect. I would rather go slow than too fast. If you are watching this, you have noticed that I have other videos. And those videos are for kids, teaching them things about camping, like starting a fire and safety. Now you can use anything you want as your dipstick. Well, that's giving me a reading. So that's probably enough. I don't want to put too much in here. Too much is a bad thing. Now let's, let's put a little bit of oil on these threads. Thread these, put some oil on there. Put this back in. Then it'll be time to put this baby back on. All right, well, now it's time to start to put this thing back together. Um, 
we need to grease this joint here. All right, so right in there we want to put a little bit of grease, okay? All right, so now I'm just kind of working this grease around in here so when it goes back in, it's, it will be nicely lubed. Okay, so that's all well lubed. Yes, I just wiped my greasy finger on my pants. Now, there is a little trick that I have been informed of, and we're going to try it right now. It is called the toilet paper tube trick. All right, cut it. Okay, we're going to try something that's called the toilet paper tube tip trick. Cut this TP tube so it helps hold it. The, uh, this U-joint is a little floppy, so we want to kind of keep it stiff so it will go in place. How many takes should I do this in? I guess it's whatever, how many takes it takes. And I've had to remove some of the toilet paper tube because all it was doing was bunching up, preventing it from being inserted. So now, I guess I'm not going to need those there. Let's try it again. Okay, so get it in the right direction and get our tube on I guess the worst part of it is this one center section and we know that the, the key you see that there at the end of that you see that little little square spot there right here Okay, that's the key. So, it's got to go on to the key. Okay, well, the big doof has finally got it. It's sticking out just a little bit. Now I'll put the bolts in, it should be fine. Alright, so, now it's time to, uh, don't do that to me. Time to get my bolts back in. I don't have any uh, specs for how tight to get, so I'm going to just kind of say reasonably tight about the, way they, about the way they came off. And thank you for bearing with me. Okay, a couple notes to remember is make sure that your wires for your light are ran underneath the miter box, which I forgot to do, which now I have to go back and do. Thank you for watching. I'm Carl, Ranger Commander. You're watching Outpost Discovery. Let's have some adventures in camping. Till next time.